The Indianapolis councilman charged with child molestation is losing some of his influence on city matters. A vote moments ago stripped Jeff Miller of his roles on several committees. That decision comes on the very same day Miller made his first appearance in court and just before the first full council meeting since his arrest. Our witness news reporter Mary Mills is downtown with what this vote means and what else could happen at tonight's meeting. Mary? Well, John, it means that before the council meeting has even begun and before Miller has arrived, if he even does that, his role has been somewhat minimized. Now, Miller is expected to be here tonight. In fact, we're told he was just across the street at City Market a short time ago meeting with an architectural group. Now, while the council can't keep him from coming here tonight, they can certainly make his job more difficult. Now, let's go to that video. It was just 30 minutes ago that the Committee on Committees met uh, here in the council office. It was Democrats Maggie Lewis and Monroe Gray and Republican Minority Leader Michael McQuillan. It took them less than two minutes to vote to remove uh, Jeff Miller from three council committees that he has served on. Uh, they mentioned that they cannot uh, keep him from attending those committee meetings. He's free to do that, but they certainly sent a strong message to him to that uh, they want him to consider resigning and giving this up. I think it's very important that we have uh, counselors representing the citizens of Indianapolis who have the time and ability to uh, attend the committee meetings and uh, put their full effort on uh, attacking the uh, issues of the day. Councilor Miller has indicated. And just after talking to us, uh, Michael McQuillan was off to the Republican caucus, asked if uh, Jeff Miller would be there. He said he wasn't sure. He also indicated that if the caucus chose to, they could expel Miller from the caucus. Not sure if that's going to happen or not. Again, it's going to be a very interesting meeting here tonight, very uncomfortable for all involved. And we will be here watching it and keeping up with things and bringing you more as they develop. John. All right. Thank you. Mary Mills downtown tonight. And the counselor's removal from those committees comes just days after Miller himself addressed the possibility that might happen. Now, he sent out his weekly email last Friday to his constituents, and in it, Miller wrote that any counselor can attend any committee meeting to weigh in on any given proposal. Also saying, quote, regardless of which committees I serve on in the future, know that I will always be at any meeting that impacts the quality of life of neighborhoods in our city. And just hours ago, Councilman Miller went before a judge in Hendricks County. He is fighting child molestation charges, and that's not all. Our crime reporter Steve Jefferson was in court for that hearing and has a look at what's ahead for the accused politician. Councilman Jeff Miller went in this door at the courthouse, and on his way in, he stayed quiet about the charges he's facing. You have anything to say, Jeff? Eyewitness News tried to get answers from Councilman Jeff Miller when he showed up for his hearing. He went through the metal detector, still not saying a word about the allegations against him. Prosecutors in Marion County filed felony child molest charges against Miller. A 10-year-old girl told a child interviewer during multiple visits with Miller's 10-year-old son here at their Fletcher Avenue home, the councilman started touching her. A second girl makes similar claims, which also include massages from Miller. During search warrants, police found handheld massages described by the girls in a box here in Miller's detached garage. In those same documents, he reportedly admitted to giving massages not only to the girls, but also his 10-year-old son. During the hearing, Miller's attorney asked the judge to drop the no-contact order for his son, but that's under review for now. The councilman insists he's done nothing wrong, but when asked questions after the hearing... Do you plan on going to the council meeting tonight? Again, Miller stayed quiet and picked up his pace, headed to the car. Miller will come back here to Hendricks County for the rest of his hearings and the trial here at the courthouse. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.